Can I change my status while in the USA? Yes, you can change your immigration status while in the USA under certain circumstances. However, the process and eligibility requirements can vary depending on your current status, intended status, and other factors. Here is a general overview of the process. Determine eligibility at first, you need to determine if you are eligible to change your status. Each visa category has specific requirements, so you should consult the official you. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS, website or speak to an immigration attorney for accurate information. Choose the new status, identify the immigration status you wish to change to. Examples include changing from a tourist visa, B2, to a student visa, F1, or changing from a temporary work visa, H1B, to a permanent resident status, green card. File the appropriate form. Once you have determined your eligibility and chosen the new status, you need to file the appropriate form with USCIS. The most common form for changing status is Form I-539, Application to Extend Slash Change Non-Immigrant Status. Gather supporting documents. You will need to gather supporting documents to accompany your application. These may include proof of financial support, evidence of enrollment in a school or university, marriage certificates, or employment documents. The specific requirements will depend on the new status you are applying for. Pay the fees. There are filing fees associated with changing your status. The current fee for Form I-539 is $370, as of October 2021. Additionally, there may be other fees depending on your specific situation. Check the USCIS website for the most up-to-date fee information. 6. Attend biometrics appointment. In many cases, USCIS will require you to attend a biometrics appointment to provide fingerprints, photograph, and signature. Await decision. After submitting your application and supporting documents, you will need to wait for USCIS to process your request. This can take several months, so it's important to apply well in advance of your current status expiration. It's important to note that this is a general outline of the process, and each case can have unique circumstances and requirements. It is highly recommended to consult with an immigration attorney or a qualified immigration professional to ensure you have accurate and personalized guidance throughout the process. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.